Hi, here is Social Innovation Insight, where we inspire individuals and drive change. In nature, everything follows its own natural course and evolves or declines without external influence, resulting in a diverse and organic ecosystem. Can this concept be applied to human society and organizations, both in the private and public sectors, to promote organic growth and innovation? The key to this question is the structure of the organization itself. Traditionally, the structure of organizations is hierarchical, where individuals or groups are ranked according to their level of authority, responsibility, and power within the organization. This hierarchy is often depicted in a pyramid-like structure, with the highest level of authority and decision-making power at the top, and lower levels of authority and responsibility at each subsequent level. While on the contrary, Brian Robertson, founder of Ternary Software, introduced holacracy structure to the world in the early 2000s, which is a decentralized approach to organizational management that replaces traditional hierarchical structures with a network of self-governing teams. Holacracy operates based on a set of clear rules, roles, and processes that guide the decision-making and problem-solving processes within the organization. In comparison, Holacracy is a self-organizing structure that mimics the natural process of adaptation, where job titles or departments are not necessary, and decision-making authority is distributed among teams and individuals, rather than being centralized in a single leader or executive. Holacracy emphasizes continuous improvement and innovation to changing business conditions and market trends. More interestingly, it fosters a sense of entrepreneurship throughout the company, where each individual is seen as the CEO of their own role in the company as a whole. The key distinction between these two structures lies in the distribution of power and relationships. In traditional organizations, relationships are hierarchical and power is concentrated at the top of the hierarchy. But in holacracy, relationships are more equal, with power residing in defined roles rather than individuals. People have clear role definitions and know exactly what to do in line with their job, allowing them to take appropriate actions without seeking permission from higher-ups. This leads to improved efficiency, productivity, and empowers individuals to make decisions, promoting an entrepreneurial mindset with innovation. Holacracy is a system of distributed authority that is dynamic and adaptive in nature. It challenges the traditional hierarchical organizational structures with proven success stories in organizations such as Zappos and the Dubai government, and it strives to create a more flexible, agile, and responsive organizational structure that can better handle the demands of the contemporary business world. People believe that holacracy is the answer to growing a more responsible and innovative organization, going beyond the traditional notions of corporate social responsibility and social enterprise. Since the early 2000s, holacracy has been adopted by organizations across various industries, including technology and creative, both for profit and non-profit. Although holacracy is still a relatively new concept, and its implementation can be challenging, it's considered a significant movement within the organizational design to cope with increasingly complex social environments, that promises a greater degree of transparency, innovation, effectiveness and agility, according to the European Management Review. We are Social Innovation Insight, with a special focus on social problems, innovation and ideas, social business, design and etc. If you are interested in any of these topics, please subscribe and hit the thump up. Have a nice day.